In the previous clip we showed the general structure of the layout with crossovers and a bay platform. Now we will start to construct it in JMRI. To begin with we open the panel pro and go to the table, turnout table. You will see at the top that different interfaces are listed Loconet, an internal in this case or a different system for your own. We will now add a turnout. Again we select the system interface, so in this case Loconet and the hardware address of our turnout decoder. We also give it a real username, in this case hardware address 1 is the bay platform. We'll add turnout 2, which is for one part of our crossover, but in this case we're going to add two turnouts because they're controlled by independent accessory decoders and there's two of them, so we'll add them together using the add range capability. Having clicked OK, we will see them appear in the turnout table, and if we go into the table we can operate those turnouts we will hear them clicking on the layout as they're thrown. Now we're going to add some sensors. These are necessary to detect trains. Again, we can choose from the system interfaces, in our case Loconet, and we know the sensor addresses because when we set up our hardware devices, which are always system dependent, we knew their addresses. So in this case we need to add the sensor, which can, is in the bay platform, in our case hardware address 4, and we'll proceed on and add a few more. Now some systems, notably Loconet, will pre-populate this table but you'll still have to add the usernames which are quite important, as you'll see later. Continue to add sensors and turnouts um, until you've completed the tables. Uh, we'll come back to this and proceed with film number three.